All right, welcome to our flip classroom. It's a colorful one. Uh, we have our app running here, and uh, you're going to see a, a randomized list of colors. And the first view is the list in uh, linear order, and they're all in these nice little bubbles. Uh, that's from the color card layout. I'll show you that in a minute. And if we hit the uh, switch icon, we have uh, three across, a staggered grid layout, so that's also nice. And we can go back and forth between the two. Um, the uh, primary dynamics of this list, uh, let's see, Taver, Tavertine. Um, we click it, it's like it gets uh, removed from the list and placed uh, at the top of the list. So Baja White, uh, Limed Oak, Okay. Now you can see also that uh, for these um, color names, when the there's a, a name and then a number, and the name is uh, the, the name of the color and the number is the luminance of the color, and uh, I tell you how to compute that. And if the luminance is below 0.3, the color name is written in white, and if it's above 0.3, it's written in uh, uh, black. So Sherwood Green here is written in white, and you can see that that's that's kind of it's kind of uh, useful. It's, it gets hard to read um, for certain colors. That, you know, black text would be hard to read on this charade. Now, if we're down here, uh, when we click these, uh, they they move to the top, and everything moves down, um, but we don't actually see uh, the color anymore. But Oregon, Oregon is now at the top. Okay, so that's the dynamics here. And then when we do the uh, switch to the three, the um, behavior I want you to implement is when you click on a color, it gets swapped with a random other color. And if we do this again, oh wow, I've gotten really lucky. Yep, yeah, when it's swapped with a color that's a, a different number of rows, the layout changes. That just happens automatically. That's a that's the layout manager at work. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can see that effect uh, here. You know, and as you go further down, there's obviously less layout adjustment that happens. Okay. But it's a, it's, I think it's a pretty nice effect. And, you know, of course, there's all these cool colors and all these cool color names, Persian red, that at least is sort of understandable. I mean, tequila is sort of understandable. <clears throat> um, clairvoyant, I, I don't know what that means in, in terms of colors. Um, so yeah, so um, I just have this enormous uh, color list that I got off the internet. Um, that is just, you know, a lot of fun. And uh, there are these hex values and you can see that I sort of grab the different components from the, this hex value um, using shifts and masks. Uh, and I grab the red, green, blue components, and that's what I use to actually create uh, the color value that gets displayed. And uh, just to show you in the color card, uh, there's this card view thing, which is it's just sort of a nice way to, uh, you know, to display items in a list. And it's got some um, rounded corners and drop shadow and elevation and, you know, it's, it's kind of nice, you know, a little background color on the, um, on the border. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the deal. You're going to spend a lot of your time in the color adapter. Cause that's, that's really the, the item to, um, spend a lot of time thinking about when we're talking about recycler views, uh, recycler views, very exciting. We're going to see them a lot in the course because, uh, lists are a huge part of Android and indeed any kind of mobile um, development lists are uh, your go-to data structure. So uh, let's uh, go out there and uh, get them.